Hey guys and welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this video we're going to attempt to redesign the new Tesla Cybertruck logo. Now Tesla have been known for pushing the envelope when it comes to design concepts and at their launch event in California they did not disappoint with the jaw-dropping new Cybertruck. Now love it or hate it, this has been a huge topic of conversation recently. At the event we saw an interesting new logo for the model as well. And like the truck, we think it could divide opinion. But do let us know in the comments down below what you think of it. We for one think it could become quite an iconic logo in years to come. Regardless, we thought we would try out our own concepts and give you guys an insight into our process for a project like this. Now this is a great exercise and we'd highly recommend you guys try it out for yourself. We'll link our final working file in the description as a free download so you can try out your own designs with some of the elements that we've already created. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we normally always do with a logo project is just list down some keywords associated with the brand or with the concepts that we are thinking of. So in this case, it's really looking into what Tesla are about as a company. They're very future focused. Their whole thing is creating electric vehicles. So technology is a big part of what they do and really just any kind of keywords associated with the brand or with the product itself. Itself. So in this case, we're looking at the Cybertruck, looking at the design of it, we can mention things like how angular it is, even taking down keywords such as the materials being used. All of this can help when it comes to the research stage and getting some ideas together. From here, we can then go onto the computer and start researching. So the research stage is also very crucial when we are creating something like a logo. It's always good to immerse yourself as much as possible in other designs and examples of similar work so you're making informed decisions when creating your designs. Now in this case we've just created a private Pinterest board with some examples of the type of thing that we may find useful for this logo. So really with this we're using the keywords that we've taken to help create searches. So I've done lots of searches for things like angular design or logo designs related to space. As you can see here there's quite a few options already. Now this is something you can spend quite a lot of time on. We've not spent a huge amount of time on this but you can see we've still got a good few concepts together here and the important thing to remember with the research stage is you're not trying to find perfect examples of exactly what you're going to create it's really just trying to get some inspiration and some ideas for even just specific elements within the potential logo so on a few of these it's not that we like the whole design that we're seeing it's just potentially certain elements like in this example it could be the way the text is laid out or certain applications of text and that can just help give you a little bit of inspiration and inform your decisions a little bit better. Now you don't have to just use Pinterest as well, this is just one example. There are plenty of websites out there for gathering design inspiration or simply just googling certain terms can prove really useful as well. Now one other thing to note is when we were researching the Cybertruck logo, we did come across another logo that is an official Tesla Cybertruck logo. However, this was being used I think more in the run-up to the launch and you can see they've removed the vowels in this version so we're not sure if this is also going to be used but it's just worth noting that there is this iteration of the logo as well which is a little bit cleaner and a little bit more modern probably more in line with what we're going to try and create today. Okay so from our research we go back to the sketchbook it's a really good idea to get into a sketchbook and just start sketching out some rough ideas to begin with. Uh, this will really help when it comes to going onto the computer. Now it doesn't have to be a sketchbook it's really whatever you're most comfortable with but just some way of quickly and easily getting the ideas out of your head and onto a page is a great way to do it just for being able to remember what you've come up with as well so there will be times where you go onto the computer you've had a good idea in your head and you will forget what that idea was so it's a great idea even if you're no good at sketching which I'm not as you can see and you don't have to come up with any kind of final ideas with this this is really just playing about with some different concepts anything you've found from your research that you like the look of you could start applying that in a way that you think might work with the logo and just keep building and building from there. It's all about getting ideas down and then developing them. Now I find I often go back to the sketchbook throughout the process and add new sketches in as and when I come up with ideas just as a way of quickly getting the idea down on paper and then being able to refer to it when I'm on the computer. But once you are happy with the sketches that you've got down, the next thing is to jump onto the computer and start designing. 
Okay, so for the sake of time guys, we have to speed through the actual design process here. This is being done over the course of a few hours. It's going to take too long to actually show you every little thing we're doing, but hopefully you're going to still get a good idea of how we go about this process. So all I'm doing here is starting with some text. So this again is based on the sketches we created and the research we carried out. Uh, I'd already looked out some fonts that I thought would potentially work for this. And with this project as well, I knew from the start that this was going to be more focused on a logo type so that's a logo that's just featuring text as opposed to any icons or graphic elements so this is common with car model logos as well really the initial things I was looking at was trying to find some nice fonts and customize them in some way so it's always a good idea when you are creating a logo not just to type something out and leave it as is you always want to look at ways in which you can make it unique and customize it in some way what I ended up doing though was actually creating my own text so this is a tricky process in itself but in this case because we were trying to make this very clean and modern what I tried to do was create a very monospaced grid like set of characters this way it's a little bit easier to get the proportions right and I think it worked well for this project now obviously type design is its own skill set and it is very tricky for something like this it's worked well but it's not to say that it's always a good option for any logo and it's really best if you are familiar with type design and the intricate elements that are involved with that. You'll also notice that I'm creating a lot of copies and duplicates so if you've already seen our WhatsApp redesign video then you'll know that I mention this a lot in that, you'll be sick of me saying it. If you haven't checked that video out do go and check it out, I cover a lot of other things in that process as well but really this stage is about trial and error, trying lots of different things out and creating duplicates and just playing around with things so it's just about developing your concepts further. And this is the best way we find to come up with a solid final logo or set of logos if you will. And it's really about trying things out, developing them as much as you can. That's where the sketches can really come in handy. But they're not always going to translate perfectly your sketches. It can be the case that you have a good idea, you sketch it down and it doesn't work as well when you actually go to design it on the computer. More often than not, the more time you spend on these, the better the outcome. But it's not to say that you can't come up with something very quickly. In this case, I think the the final concept that we came up with was something that we'd roughly sketched out. Obviously the sketches are very rough but the final piece was the type of thing we were imagining when we set out on this project. I'm happy with the final concept that we came up with but this is the kind of thing that you can spend a lot of time on and refine a lot of different options down. We're obviously working on a slightly tighter time scale on this one. Now if you actually would like to know the technical side of everything we're doing in this design process we do actually have a graphic design course that will cover all the techniques we're using here. So if you'd like to know more visit graphicdesignerpro.com there's a link in the description and you can find a little bit more out about the course but otherwise we are going to look at our final concept. Okay so here we are with our final option that we've created and this was the one that I felt worked best just in terms of the legibility and the application as well so I could potentially see this working well in various marketing materials as well as being potentially applied to the vehicle itself. That's where I think the one they were using potentially wouldn't work, not to say that they are going to be using that on the vehicle but it's a much more clean approach. All I've done really here is kept all of the line weight and the sizing completely consistent so we started with perfect squares and we've kind of manipulated the text from there. Now the other thing to note is that I've opted for these beveled corners where possible so this is again from the sketches I was looking at I wanted to try and create something quite angular to keep it in line with the look of the vehicle as well. I did do some options with some slightly more rounded corners uh, a combination of a beveled line but with slightly rounded corners however I think this sharper look definitely works better. Some other things are just breaking up each of the characters. I think this gives it quite a futuristic look. It's almost got a slightly outer worldly look to it I think. Again there were some other options that we could have worked on more. In terms of the colour palette what we've opted for here is something that's fairly in keeping with the metallic greys and which may work slightly better with the look of the vehicle and then I've also used this slightly closer to a pink hue than red. It's a cross between 
the red they were using in their presentation again looks quite modern and quite digital and then I was also thinking about slightly more neon colours that you see with a lot of futuristic type designs um, so I went in the middle and I think this worked quite well I can imagine this working well lit up for signage and things like that or potentially on digital displays I think this would work quite well so this is the final concept that we arrived at as you can see over on our other artboard here we have a few other things we were playing around with now obviously this is something I would love to play around with for days it's a lot of fun doing this we've only done this fairly quickly really focusing on the logo type I did try doing a rough trace of the vehicle but it's such an awkward shape that I don't think this is a good approach potentially with more time this could be a viable option or even just taking a section of it or using the angle of the roof potentially but I quickly realized that this would probably take a lot longer than we had time for so I've focused on the text there are a few other options that potentially could have worked and as I was mentioning you can see there are lots of duplicates of text you can kind of see the workings of how we went about creating the logo type that we've ended up with trying out different characters you can see I've tried out a different Y here but I think in the end it looked more like a four than a Y we had a slightly more grungy look that we were going for at the beginning just with some nice fonts that we were looking at potentially a lot of these could have been developed a little bit more and we might have got something better out of them like I say this file will be available as a free download so you're welcome to download it and try playing around with any of these elements or coming up with your own stuff we'd love to see any of your concepts that you come up with as well so there you have our attempt at redesigning the Cybertruck logo do let us know what you think in the comments down below and if you tried out your own concepts we'd love to see them if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and if you haven't already subscribe for more weekly content if you'd like to know more about our full graphic design course visit graphicdesignerpro.com see you next time